Hi everyone and welcome to another Saturday Stash Dive episode and it's Lisa today and I know it's been a long time since I've done a Saturday Stash Dive so I was excited to do one today. Um, so this picture is from when Sandra was out and we went to Jasper and it's just a picture of our feet when we were at Athabasca Falls. So um, I just uh, cut it down to 4x4 four four just so it was a little bit of a kind of got rid of the background noise in the picture. And here I'm taking a Hero Arts um, stamp and I'm just going to emboss it in gold on some vellum. Oh, and speaking of stamps, that is what this Saturday Stash Dive is all about. It's all about using your stamps. So if you are like me, you have quite the collection of stamps, which, you know, stamps never go bad, so that's a good thing. So, um... Here I'm just using a background paper from the Amy Tan Cut and Paste and um, I'm going to use this camera pa uh, pattern paper and this is from the Dear Lizzie polka dot paper and I'm sorry I don't have it in front of me so I don't know what the name of it is. I'll try to uh, link that information below and then this piece of pattern paper is from the uh, Maggie Holmes Flea Market and um, I was just going to try and see if I could use that scrap of paper um, that, you know, just had the holes, just cut off the holes there, but it didn't work. So, um, I just had to cut another strip. And these stamps are from Maya Road. Um, I don't know the name of them. I think it's either, um, point, click, shoot, or captured, or keep calm and shoot on. But basically it has a whole bunch of these, um, like picture or camera type things. So I just kind of made, um, a fun little element with them just to stamp them. And, um, the camera on the bottom is from the Amy Tan, uh, yes, please stamp set. And then the camera up in the top, the Polaroid camera is from, um, the, uh, my road stamp set. Okay. So here you can see, I have this little cork, uh, frame at the bottom and that is from a freckled fawn uh, kit embellishment kit that I get every month and I don't remember which one um, here you saw I had pulled another stamp from um, it was actually a project life kit that I got from uh, studio calico and then it didn't stamp very well so I had to restamp it again and thank goodness I used that Fiskars stamp press so that I could redo it but the camera on the bottom still didn't want to stamp very well. So I just re-inked it up again and then, of course, went over it. You know, because they're acrylic uh, stamps, you can, you know, line them up pretty easy. And then just to kind of make the paper stand out just a little bit better from each other, I took that gray. Actually, I used the soft granite Hero Arts ink and I just swiped it along the edge. Um, just so that it stood out a little bit better from each other. I didn't want to, like, over... Uh, do the inking. I just wanted to add just a little bit of definition between the two. And then you can just see I cut down that vellum piece and then that strip up on the top, I just didn't want it to go to waste. So I figured I would uh, just use it up at the top for a little bit of a border. And then I had this Maggie Holmes, uh, this is the flea market paper again, and it's like all the tags and everything on it. And, um, this little tag said, um, this was the best day. So, um, I just, um, you know, put that on the, on the back side of the frame just so that I could have something else underneath it. And, uh, then you can see me here. I'm just trying to, you know, layer some stamps that I'm pretty sure that I want to, uh, use over in that bottom corner. Um, because the way you're looking at the layout, it's going to kind of, you know, draw your eye from the top left down to the bottom right. So, and here, of course, I'm pulling out the polka dot party die cuts. And I pulled that um, flower one and I just tucked it behind the fold just like I did last week. And it just adds that little pop of color and just softness. So, I really like that. And I was going to pull up everything and put some wood grain um, stamps in the background and I started to rip the paper so I thought better of it. <laughs> and uh, then here you can see me stamping. This is from the, um, that is from the Chamel Lane stamp set from Two Peas in a Bucket that Sandra got me. So, um, and it's just a Chevron uh, stamp. So again, I went in with the gray ink. 
And um, the other thing I should mention real quick is um, Carla I was supposed to be doing the Saturday Stash Dive this weekend with Sandra, and Carla ended up being really, really sick. Um, so if you guys could give her some love below and just, you know, wish her that she, you know, hope she feels better and stuff like that, because that sucks. And, um, Carla was so awesome when I was sick. She really, you know, picked up the ball for me. So thank you again, Carla. So I don't mind picking up the ball for you. I think that's the awesome thing about our, um, design team is, um, we help each other out. So get better, Carla. I hope you feel tons better tomorrow. So. So back to the layout, um, I took this, that Polaroid stamp and I just stamped it again and you can see I used a tag. I didn't want to pull out another piece of pattern paper just to stamp it. So I was trying to use whatever I had pulled out and, um, I've thought about coloring, um, this Polaroid camera and then I was like, nah, I'll just leave it because what happens if it didn't, you know, uh, if the colors didn't match and stuff like that, I was just like, nah, I'll just leave it. So I just put some pop dots on the one side and then tape or just glue tape on the other side, just so that it would stick to that other frame. And then you saw me pull out that die cut from that dear Lizzie die cut pack that says friends as well. And then that little gold bow is also from a freckled fawn, um, kit. And I, think it might be the October one. And then here I'm going in with some bubblegum hero arts ink and um, just going to stamp this. It's an open heart that came again from that same Maya road stamp set. So I think I used almost every stamps that was in uh, that stamp set. So that was awesome. Okay. Here is my pet peeve. I'm going to like spell out this word, and I'm short an R. I can't spell Jasper. Can't, ugh, that is my biggest pet peeve. And I'm sure it's everybody's biggest pet peeve. Like you go to spell a word and you're like short one letter. Drives me bonkers. So anyway, I <laughs> thought I'd share that with you because I'm pretty sure you guys feel the same way. Um, I also took a sticker from the Dear Lizzie kit and a uh, sticker sheet and it says me and you. And so, um, I had it on top of that gold piece, but I needed to add something else to layer over top of that stamped piece that I did. So I just cut a piece of that. Again, it was the Maggie Holmes Chevron paper and just layered it underneath. And I think that looks so much better. And then I took these gold letters, which I got from Ronnie and Ronnie, I feel awful because I haven't talked to you in forever and I hope everything's okay. I haven't, you know, heard from you and, um, thank you again for those uh, little gold stickers. I love them. So thank you so much. And I hope everything's okay with you, Ronnie. And so here I'm just trying to figure out what is going on or what I'm going to use for my title. And honestly, I was kind of stumped for what to put for, um, this title. So I know I wanted to put true friends and I wanted to put it to the side, but that arrow uh, piece was kind of in my way. So it didn't, turn out like it didn't I didn't want it vertical I wanted it hor no I wanted it vertical not horizontal sorry it's still early in the morning <laughs> so anyway um just adjusted everything around ended up putting um that true friend on the vertical or on the horizontal instead of the vertical so here is where I was glad I went with the four by four picture I had this gold frame from the Maggie Holmes paper and uh, that's again from the flea market and I have these frames and I've hardly ever used them and I just love that little effect that it gave over top of the picture and I love the gold frame around it so I'm so glad I used that. And then I took again those same uh, letters that Ronnie had given me and I put long time true friend. Now here's where the sappy part's going to come in. Um, I had a best friend growing up and we were best friends ever since I was like two years old. We did everything together. And then, um, after we graduated and everybody moved on, kind of like drifted apart. And I never had that one true friend where you could talk about anything with and every day with until Sandra. And, um, now we talk every day about anything and everything. And, um, she is my, you know, true friend. She's my person. If you watch Grey's Anatomy, you know what that means. So she's my person. 
Um, so I just put on that best day ever. I put kicking up our feet at Athabasca Falls, and then I put the date. And here I'm going to come in with some um, gold lame and do some sprinkles. And I wasn't really concerned if I got it over top of the photo because, again, I have that little overlay over top of it. And then here I'm trying to find some enamel dots that coordinate. And I used, I think they were called My Boy or something like that, enamel dots. Um, so I'm just sprinkling them around um, the cameras as well as... The journaling and there you have it there's the finished layout and thanks everybody for watching and don't forget to check out Sandra's Saturday stash dive uh, this weekend and we will see you guys next week bye